Welcome to the pads follow route demonstration. With pads, the follow route command gives you the capability of routing a trace along an existing object such as another trace, keep out, copper, or board outline. Follow route snaps your trace to an existing complex shape or trace pattern and bends along every point of the original object while maintaining proper clearance based on your design rules. To use follow route, begin routing from a pin. From the right mouse pop-up menu, choose Follow, and click on the object that you would like to follow. From there, simply move your mouse around the shape, and it will automatically bend and conform to that shape. It will follow any irregular shape, even if it has arcs in it. The gray area that you see around the objects is the minimum spacing as defined by your design rules. By following an obstacle to the minimum clearance, you can have traces routed as tightly as your design rules allow, leaving space open for additional routing. You can exit from the follow command by clicking the mouse. This will return you to the regular routing mode. From there, we can finish the trace as we would normally. Let's route another trace. This time we'll follow the board outline. Select another pin, begin routing. As we come up to an object, we can right mouse click and choose follow. You can also use the shift F moldless command. Select the board outline to follow and simply move your cursor around the board outline. It will also bend and conform to any keepouts that you might encounter. Left click to exit from the follow command and finish the pin. Now let's follow a trace pattern that's on the top layer. I'll switch to the top layer. Select a pin, right mouse click, choose interactive route. We'll use the shortcut key shift F to initiate a follow command. You will notice that as the cursor contacts the object to follow, that all of the objects in the design are dimmed. This is a visual indicator to the user to confirm that the contacted object will be selected for the follow command. We'll click the trace that we want to follow and begin moving our cursor around that trace pattern. When we get to the end, we can click and exit the follow command and then complete the trace as normal. Again, we'll select a pin, initiate routing, use Shift F, click the trace that we want to follow, and move our cursor around that trace pattern. And we'll click again to exit the follow command and finish the trace. You can see as we zoom in, the traces follow the clearance rules around the vias and traces. We're sure you'll find follow route is a great time saver, especially when routing irregular shaped boards or designs with several cutouts.